on a cool day like this, staying with the breath is like gathering around the hearth. You want to soak up some warmth from within. Because the world can be a cold place. You look at the world, what does it have to offer? It has gain, but it also has loss. It has status, loss of status, pleasure, pain, praise, criticism. Nothing you can really depend on. It's like winds blowing around. The Buddha said a fully trained mind is like one who's stone pillar, 16 spans tall, 8 spans buried in the ground. So that no matter which direction the wind comes from, and no matter how strong the wind, the winds can't blow the pillar around. The pillar doesn't even shake. You don't want to get your mind that strong. Now, even that's a fully trained mind. But that's the direction we're heading. We want to be more and more resistant to have offer less resistance to the wind. In other words, so we don't go around trying to catch it. It's when we try to catch the wind and save it, we want this little piece of gain and that little piece of praise and this little piece of status. You set up a big sail, and of course the big sail is going to get blown around by good and bad things. So you want to offer no catchment basin for these things. They come and they go, and they're part of the world. And you learn how to use them properly. But your source of happiness is someplace else. You've always got to keep that in mind. And particularly the happiness that comes from other people. We live in our relationship, but we realize, okay, the relationships can't last. They can't provide us the true happiness we want. You've got to keep that in mind so that you don't get blown around by those changes either. Don't take your refuge in a relationship. Take your refuge in the Buddha, the Dhamma, the Sangha. The qualities that they ex exemplify and the qualities you can develop in your mind. To lead to a refuge that really is truly reliable, truly unchangeable. That's what we're working towards. So it starts right here at the breath. This is the place where you gather your mind around. This is where you're going to be looking for happiness. If things aren't going well, then you watch, watch, watch. So you can figure out how the mind can settle down with the breath with a sense of well-being. It requires experimenting and watching again, experimenting and watching again. A little bit of back and forth here, but eventually this back and forth settles you in here in a way that's really secure. So keep in mind that where you really want to find your pleasure, where you really find your sense of well-being is right here. Things outside are distractions, except to the extent that you can use those things to develop better qualities in here. So try to keep your center of gravity here, and don't put your center of gravity outside of yourself. That's very unstable. Try to keep it centered inside. That way you don't get tipped over. <laughs>